picked up this camera in way too long. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am the world's worst vlogger. But since the last time that I picked up this camera, there have been a lot of changes. <laughs> a lot of things have been going on. And I hinted you guys on what was going on in uh, my last chit chat, Get Ready With Me. And I kind of just expedited, expedited those things a little bit. So, I guess here's the update while I go get some coffee and get my lashes done. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to come to Miami for the month of August because I braid hair out here. I have a couple of clients out here and I was like, I could pick up some extra cash, let me get some clients in, do an August special, braid some knotless hair, you know? And then, you know, I can just come back to New Orleans. And then when I saw how much of my clients booked me, right away, no hesitation, I was like, hmm, well maybe I should just stay in Miami through September because my birthday is in September so I can just celebrate with my friends and family because in New Orleans I'm alone, I have no one, my brother's not even there half of the time anymore so I'm like this would probably be a good idea and two, train tracks, and two, if I wanted to travel anywhere internationally, Either way, if I'm flying out of New Orleans, I always have to do a layover in Miami or Fort Lauderdale to get to where I'm going. So I'm like, if I travel internationally for my birthday, if I decide to do that, I might as well just be in Miami. So yeah, after that thought, I said, but Miami Carnival is in October. So I might as well stay in Miami until Carnival. <laughs> I'm not going back y'all <laughs> I'm not going back I have tried to convince myself of a reason to go back to New Orleans and y'all I just <laughs> oh my bad it's not looking like it's in the cards for me it's not like New Orleans don't get me wrong I don't want anybody to think that I hate New Orleans because I don't I think it's a wonderful place but I'm just I think my time in New Orleans has expired so I'm here I am basically starting over. It's the weirdest feeling ever because, girl, if you, is you gonna slow down? I'm back in Miami. Hi, good afternoon. Can I please have a medium French vanilla iced coffee? Okay, sugar? Just one of each, please. Okay. Thank you, that's all. Recording one. Nah, wait, because the car in front of me has a hot coffee in their hand. I ain't minding my business right now. It is almost 100 degrees outside. What are you doing drinking hot coffee? Thank you. Have a good one. Do -do -do. Whew. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My goodness. Okay, now I can finish talking. What was I saying? I'm basically starting my life over, okay? I went to New Orleans. I was with my brother for two years. I did not save a dime, guys. I mean, I did, but then quickly got rid of all of my savings. Um, this has been the year where I have traveled. This year and last year, I have traveled the most that I've ever traveled in my life. That and I was in a long distance relationship, so I was traveling back and forth to Chicago to be with my ex boo now. And even though I would fly for free because he worked for an airline, there was still a lot of money that was spent. Long distance relationships are expensive, y'all. Like just the going out, even on the time, even during the times where we wanted to just be at the house and just chill and kind of like do date night at home, groceries are expensive. So I was just spending a lot of money um, and yeah, I have no regrets, but I did learn a lot and I know what not to do ever again <laughs> moving forward. I basically had a conversation with my mom and I was like, hey mom, are you okay with me just staying with you for a couple of months while I figure my life out, make some extra money with braiding, um, do some extra work out here too. My mom, obviously, my mother was like, girl, this is your house. You know, like, you don't have to ask me that. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to make sure, because my mom is a married woman. She got her own life. I have my own life. So I also wanted to make sure that I wasn't being an interference to her. And, you know, also hinting like, you know, I'm gonna be staying with you, but I'm gonna still do what I want. You know, 
I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna try your household. You know, I'm not gonna do nothing crazy, but I'm gonna do what I want. And my mom is super open, super chill. And of course, she was like, girl, yes, like, please stay with me. My goal, my parents' goal is always to help us in whatever capacity. Um, so I'm so grateful for that. I was never the person that said I will never go back to my mom's house once I leave. Never, ever, ever, ever. Ever, 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 ever. <laughs> because I know that life can quickly humble you and life will throw you some curveballs and you're gonna have to figure things out. And my parents are my heart and soul. My parents are my rock. They're the ones that keep me going. My family, not just my parents, because my brothers, my sister, just we are a village and we help each other in whatever capacity. So all that to say, I'm out here in Miami. Look at the hoochie daddy. No, I'm not looking for the hoochie daddy. Oh, this is so great. I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, at least it was nice for you to like get away. Yes. Say, like I lived in New Orleans. I don't know what that's about. Exactly. It was definitely nice. something like that okay oh that's gonna look really good it gives that eyeliner effect that right. i love oh yeah so like that's like the type of style i'm trying to go for because these are the lashes that i'm using okay awesome. i'm excited i'm finally getting my lashes done again <laughs> i really tried to like let somebody else touch my eyelashes and i was like this ain't gonna work <laughs> she brand new yo my eyebrows came out really dope right, they look so natural hello my mom's gonna be a hater when i get home <laughs> this is so thank you so much annie why is it so dark there we go all right so i just got home I feel so weird with these lashes. I mean, they're cute, don't get me wrong. I think I look really cute. I just haven't had like a volume set and I don't think I've ever had a volume set actually. This lighting is a little... Anywho, I'm about to start prepping some hair because I have a client that I have to braid tomorrow. Um, and then I have a long day tomorrow. So I'm just going to prep, get everything in order and make sure that I'm ready. <laughs> This lighting is terrible. Guys, I know you just saw me dye my hair in the beginning of this video, but I'm gonna dye my hair again. The first dye that I did was a semi-permanent watercolor. So I washed my hair after like two or three days of having that color in, and now my hair is back to brown. I don't know if you can see it with this lighting, but I'm gonna be dyeing my hair black using this L'Oreal High Color. This is in the color Black Onyx, and I got a 20 developer because we're going back to black. We're going back to black. That's it. I'm over it. Mommy, you know what I want to do? Mom? I want to do my blonde patch again. Should I do it? I should, right? Do you have bleach? No. Alright, so I'm going to just leave a patch out. Wear suitable disposable gloves. Measure 2.5 ounces of 30 developer. I only got a 20 developer. Mommy, will it work with a 20 developer? Me dice que tiene que ser 30. Uh, uh, no, un color negro. 30. Sí. ¿Y por qué trajo 20? No, no trajo 20. Yo lo compré así, sin leer. You gotta be fucking kidding me. For real? Hey Siri. 
FaceTime Vicky Cameron. If your client's hair is relaxed, use a 20 volume developer. My hair is not relaxed, but it's black. Why would I need 30? I don't feel like that's supposed to look like that. This thing is look black already. It's not supposed to be like that yet. I'm tripping. Don't tell me that. <laughs> you didn't make it? A little bit. I'm going to say it's supposed to have. 2.5. I put too much developer? Oh, shit, I did. Oh, my God, I made it too watery. What do I do? Are you serious? I swear. <laughs> I look so crazy. Nah. Hello, beautiful people. Y'all. <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all. The way I suck as a vlogger is crazy. How many times have I said that in this video? Like, it's insane. Obviously, you know a couple of days have passed because my hair is done. Still, this is my old bedroom. Did I ever record in here? I recorded in here a couple of times on my vlogs before. But this is my old bedroom that my mother has obviously turned into her storage room. <sighs> it, it, you know, but I'm here. Humble beginnings, okay? Humble beginnings. I'm about to be 29 in two weeks. Back in my mama house like I never left. And I feel okay. I'm at peace. I'm at peace. I'm at peace. I'm at peace. I feel so good. I just needed to pick up this camera today because I have been so busy. Just so you guys get like a little bit of insight on what's been going on. So, ooh, it's dark. Hold on. Hold on. Is that better? This yellow lighting kills me every time. Okay, is this better? Yes, this is better. Alright, so just to give you guys a little bit of insight on what's been going on. Pretty much... Your girl has been so busy. So I came back to Miami, you know, I moved back in with my mom for a temporary time. And my goal in being here was to pick up some clients, braid hair and do all that jazz. So that's what I've been doing. And I'll insert a couple of clips so you guys can see, like literally every other day I have somebody else in this humble beginnings chair that I bought off of somebody on Facebook marketplace. And I've been braiding hair every day. And when I'm not braiding hair, I'm working my nine to five. And when I'm not working my nine to five, I'm chilling with my friends. And when I'm not chilling with my friends, I'm trying to sleep. <sighs> so today I have a pretty chill but busy day at the same time. I'm gonna set up my DJ controller and everything right now because I have my first gig tomorrow. My first DJ gig. It's with my job. So we're gonna be at Put Shack Miami and basically we're doing like a back to school drive. So from two to five, a couple of the ladies that I work with, we're gonna have a different set. And I was asked to do a set and I'm like, I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna mess up, but okay, just put me. Because with my job, I teach girls how to DJ. So I'm more used to being in the classroom space where I'm teaching fundamentals of DJing and all that good stuff. But for me to curate a vibe for 30 minutes plus, send help. Send help, I need it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if there's something, oh wait. The hardest part about being in my mom's house is not having space to put the camera. So I'm putting it in the cabinet because at my brother's house, I already have my designated areas. Now at my mom's house, I'm like, ain't no tripod, we doing this freehand and I just got so distracted. I'm hungry and there's no food. <laughs> I'll figure out food later. Anywho, let's set up the kitchen table with my DJ equipment because that's what I have to do right now. What a lot of people don't tell you about DJing is that learning the hardware and learning how to use the software is the easiest part. Curating your playlist, like thinking about what you wanna mix and how you wanna mix it and all this extra stuff. And then to like learning how to scratch, that's a whole different battle within itself. 
okay? So I'm nervous because I'm a super duper duper early beginner DJ. Tomorrow being my first gig really creeps me the f out. But it's okay, we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. Mommy. My mom's calling me. I love you. All right. songs that you have to play from the beginning so Right front leg. 